Sienna. I don't think we're gonna be doing that. No. Well, LFA! An LFA! What? Are you fing kidding me right Harrison, now? Harrison, we're here to film an LFA! No, you're not. <laughs> yes, yeah, we, we are! are. F you guys! You <laughs> <laughs> shook me? Yes! Oh, I love you for that. That's great. <laughs> oh, that's the greatest surprise. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh my god. Ah, that's the coolest thing. There it is. That's the coolest thing. The Lexus LFA. A car that the world has decided now costs more than double what it did when it first came out. Why? We'll get to that. For now, we'll just say that when Drive Motorsports in Vancouver said they wanted to toss us the keys to one of the most legendary cars of all time, we were on a plane in an instant. So we found ourselves here, on an open racetrack, with the keys to a 552 horsepower rear wheel drive icon. In fact, my only gripe was that we flipped a coin and stupid James got to drive first. It is an honor and a privilege to be driving this car right now. The amount of engineering it took to get the car to sound like that deserves so much respect. They manufactured it, they worked to make it scream the way you're hearing it right now. And the engine itself is art. It revs so quickly. The throttle response is instant. It's light and it just revs to 9,000 RPM! Second. Third. Fourth. Downshift. Third. Second. This very 
very expensive supercar only does 0 to 60 in three and a half or 3.6 seconds. And you think, oh, a Model S Plaid can take that on. You've completely missed the point. Of course, a Model S Plaid can dust this in a straight line. But you know what the Model S Plaid can't do? Near as much everything else. <laughs> this car has made me pregnant. Yep, I'm pregnant. Yep. All right, maybe you're not into the rowdy thing. We'll drop it into auto. Now, coupled to that 10 cylinder glorious engine is a six speed transmission, automatic. And yeah, it's a little bit old, to be honest. So I'm in auto right now, but if I drop down to a slower speed, so first of all, the actual sound of the transmission changing underneath me kind of sounds like someone being choked out. It's a bit like <laughs> But it's also a bit like, here's. Yeah. It does provide that kind of mechanical connection. You can hear what's going on. But as a result of the single clutch, it has that Aventador thing going on where it's just not smooth. If you pull away from a light in traffic, so I've stopped now and it says five cylinders idling, so I've momentarily become a TTRS. If I roll onto the power, watch my, watch my chicken head bobble. It's not a smooth experience because it's taking that extra second to get to the next gear, which is not something a double clutch would do. Some say it adds character, I think it's a bit of a downside to this car. However, when you're on it and you switch it to sport, that little Dobby, the house elf, who's underneath you getting the next gear ready for you, comes alive. And it shifts faster. And suddenly, Master has given Dobby an LFA. Dobby is free. All right. Okay. Watch it. Come on. No, no, no. Let's just, let's just, just, let's just take a minute. Oh, my. <laughs> Can I drop? Um, I need a cigarette. You don't smoke. Uh, isn't that, that's how crazy <laughs> it is. Great. Let me drive it. No, no. We've got to talk about design first because I think. I hate this part. I think myself and I have to the, talk to you and not <laughs> drive the cars. <laughs> the audience needs a breather as well. Okay, fine. The Lexus LFA? It's great looking. Anyway. No, no, no. Come on. Come on. There's more to it than that. Okay. All right. You, you, you're throwing every, all the work they did to the design in the bin, but just by getting back here. Okay, fine. All right. I have some things to say, and I'm going to say them now. Okay. I think that this car is really unique because it looks very mid-engined, but it is front-engined. Okay. It's also mid-engined because it's front-mid-engined. It's front-mid? Yes. So that means that, for those that don't know, this is the axle line where the wheels, like the center of the wheels are, and the engine is entirely behind them towards the driver. It's pretty cool. I want to have I mean, a look the weight at the balance is great. I want to have a look at the engine. Oh, okay. Because yep. it's a V10, right? It, it is a V10. It should be very exciting. Yes. And it's it's not not exciting. Uh, oh, you know what is exciting though? Check this out. That is a carbon fiber well, hood and yeah. I wonder how much this costs. That's perfect for the old can do. The, the what? The old can do, the old can do. <laughs> <laughs> It does look good though. Oh man. The yeah. engine's not so exciting looking. No, it's but, clean. Yeah, what is exciting looking was well, not looking. What is exciting is the engineering that went into that airbox. It's yeah. crazy. It's everything about this car is is designed for acoustics. And as I'm sure you found out, and I have yet to experience, it must sound great on the inside, right? Right? <laughs> what does it sound like on the outside? Amazing! <laughs> right? Those, yeah, it's really good on those, the those three exhaust tips are really cool. Yeah. But yeah, no, no, it is it is still a beautiful engine. It's not brightly cover, colored or whatever it is, but just knowing how much engineering went in this car, every single thing in this car is bespoke to the LFA. That's what makes it so interesting. I don't know if it's a, a traditionally pretty car. Um, it looks very Japanese. Okay, I, I, I see what you mean. It does. It, it's not like the most 
like, like it's not a Ferrari 458. Do you know what I mean? Like this simple elegance. There is some elegance to the design, but it is very- That's so light. Yeah, I know, I know. Ooh, cool. But it is very like, what's the word? It looks designed. Yes, on the road, it yeah. looks rather special. It does look crazy. Like I love yeah. the wing mirrors, I love the headlights, I love this little whoosh whoop right here. All right, let's have a look at the inside for a while. <laughs> Thank you so much. I think, cause you need to really appreciate it first, oh. right? It's like, it's like the half the taste is in the Can smell. Can I at least sit in the driver's seat for this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, you can see the carbon fiber chassis. Uh, okay, I closed the door, but I, I just have to believe you. <laughs> you say, oh, it's yeah. so cool. The legendary carbon fiber, you know, they redesigned the whole thing. Everyone knows the story. If you don't know the story, they designed this entire car out of aluminum and then they're like, not good enough. Yes, carbon fiber. but then it pushed production ages and ages and ages. Yes. Um, okay, so a few things that I think are hilarious. First of all, that is the same key. Yeah. yeah. You know, I was talking about everything proprietary to the Lexus. Yeah. Well, this is the same key that my wife had for her 2002 Lexus RX 350. So it's vintage. It's vintage, yeah. yeah. Um, there's that, and then there's the infotainment, which I'm going to show you in a second. But before we do that, lure and the fuel pump. Okay, ready? Listen to the starter motor. Oh. Oh. You're not driving it yet. Oh. Okay, can we talk about the fact that this is number 10? It is number 10. Number yes. 10. Zero, one, zero. Yeah. That is really, really cool. Out of 500. There's there's some really, really, really interesting stuff in here. Not the infotainment. That is the same as... It's, what he's, it's the same as Lexus is right now, by the way. Just, just They no, haven't but, updated it yet. But they've, they've updated this moving pad. I almost prefer this to the current touchpad. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Yeah. It feels like very 2000s IBM laptop. It's, oh, it's 100% what it is. Yeah. Except the graphics are worse. Um, so... The steering wheel is beautiful. The leathers are beautiful. Carbon fiber is beautiful. This is a great spec, the white on the red. It's so nice. Really awesome spec. There's just like every, there's a lot of like stuff to explore in this car. It's, everything feels really, really thought thought out. Do you know what I mean? Like look at these, look at these. these the, the I think those, that's my favorite thing. It, they're so neat. I, like I love that. And, and this door handle, you can see that they left that, that bolt exposed. And there's like this beautiful hinge, and it just feels so expensive. It looks like something that could come off of an Iron Man suit. Yeah, yeah. Why? Why didn't they keep? Like, why didn't they carry this down? Let it trickle down to the new models. Which? The, these like these indicators. Oh, stores. I know. I don't know. I don't, they, 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 they might just be the best looking in the industry. Yeah, and absolutely. The, the, the fact that you can get in a two hundred fifty thousand dollar Maybach, and it still has. Yeah, just like regular. The same thing as an A-Class. Exactly. Oh, maybe that's why they didn't do it. Or maybe I just answered my own question. <laughs> They've kept it special. They've kept it special. Um, yeah, but like the other things that are really neat, that the way to adjust the seats is really cool, right? There, it took me a while to figure out how to use it, but once I did figure out how to use it, it's like second nature. You just have to recalibrate. Yes, exactly. And they're just really cool looking. Also, there's this, the leather is so nice, and it, the entire part of the seat is kind of like smooth and you get in the car and you just kind of go whoop, yeah. into the car, right? But you know, you've got the same Shrek ears that you get in the other Lexus models. Yep. Even the, even the surround of the where you put the key in is uh, carbon fiber. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's just a few details in here. This is stuff you don't usually talk about, like how to physically operate the vehicle, but it's really neat. To put it in drive, you select a paddle yes. and turn the parking brake off. To get out of that, you have to pull both paddles and put you in neutral, similar to a Lamborghini, but to go in reverse, you have to go from drive to neutral and click this reverse thing over here. And if you want to get out of that, you have to click both paddles into neutral and then one paddle into drive. It's, oh, like, okay. it's, like, a, it's like a symphony of movements to do a three point turn. I think symphony is a good word for this car. Every, well, I don't know, I wouldn't know. Because I haven't driven about, it yet. What do you think about a symphony? <laughs> it really is a collection of, of inputs. Would you get so, out? So, yeah, okay. <laughs> Oh, I have so much to say. Oh, yeah. 
I'm supposed to be reviewing. Review the car, Thomas. Oh my God. Okay. It's just. Oh my God. That engine is just. It's you. You have to be in here to truly believe what it sounds like. Oh my God. Oh, here's something I didn't see coming. This car is so much more raw than I thought it was going to be. There's, there's just like a, a, like a tactile connection to everything. These paddles make this clink. The steering, even though it's electric, and it's a really communicative feedback. It's a very small steering rack. It's hardly doing anything because the car's so light. The suspension is just, it's not that soft. This is a serious car. Lambo, maybe it's a little bit softer, but compared to any other Lexus. Oh my. Many, many cars share parts, but the parts in this are all Lexus LFA, as we said. Like the suspension components are all aluminum and this carbon fiber floor. And it's so good to drive. This is just. Oh my God. His steering is perfect. The chassis balance is, and I don't use this word that often, perfect. to the outrageous throttle and engine response. When I'm in a drift like that, it's so easy to control the angle. It is literally just right foot directly related to the angle of the rear. <laughs> Thanks, Michelin, for replacing the tires ahead of time because we more of that now. This is a meet your heroes moment. It's going very well. Oh my god. I know all of you love this car. It's, it's almost everyone's favorite car because of that engine. But you know what people don't talk about is just how good of a car it is, period. Take away the engine. Actually, please don't take away the engine. But if you did, it's still unbelievably good to drive. <laughs> what on earth? It's just so precise. All of you want this car to be good. I wanted this car to be good. It's good. It's maybe the best. This is one of the best cars, if not the best car, I've ever driven. Yeah.